सो आई गेटिंग द मेल्स एक्सेट्रा जो कुछ भी आना है मनु ने पूछ के गया इज देर एनी प्रॉब्लम आर द वीडियोज वर्किंग फाइन फाइन देर इज नो वॉइस इश्यू इन द वीडियो एक्सेट्रा Give me a first year question booklet. so this was one question in the 2016 paper how will you approach this question we have done yesterday a geological structure is a dominant on the landform and it is reflected them how do we approach it is talking about structure or a davisian theory it is talking about the structure not time hmm so whose law is this thorn bariga so how will be the introduction maybe you can there are two ways of writing this introduction in this in this introduction one way is whether criticize davis for criticizing davis you will have to write his statement that the, according to davis the landform is an outcome of structure process and time but he gave too much importance to time which was then later on criticized by numerous geomorphologist and they said that the most important is structure structure matlab what is the rock made up of fine and then enough kyunki hame ye likhna hai 150 words mein isme 20 30 words are there so this is the fundamental law of geomorphology which was given by thornberry and then you come to the body so in the body what will be your approach you have to define first what is structure then you will have to give the examples once you tell the structure automatically isme aa jayega there are two types of rocks one is the hard rock and the other is the soft rock in this hard and soft rock next you will talk about the differential erosion of hard and soft rocks and you will tell ki how the processes are operating on this and then you will give an example the best example is which plateau peninsula plateau bas khatam answer uh, conclusion is an example itself right there is no need of conclusion or if you want to conclude you can conclude that other than the structure processes also play an important role fine anything out of this if you want to draw a diagram we don't don't have a specific diagram for this but if you want to draw a diagram you can take the diagram
있어? एग्जाम में डायग्राम अगर ऐसे बना सकते हो तो वेरी फाइन अदरवाइज वन इज द इनिशियल लैंडफॉर्म द अदर इज द प्रेजेंट डे लैंडफॉर्म वॉट यू एशन की द सॉफ्टवेयर ऑक्स है वॉट इरोडेड एट अ फास्टर रेट देन हार्डर ऑक्स In the exam, try to make the diagram with the pen rather than pencil. Fine. You will save time. Secondly, contrast अच्छा लगता है black pen and blue pen का rather than rather than the pencil. You can use brown color also. You can use except for red green. You can use any color. So will you write and show this to me? Follow this general rule of so the same question has been repeated again and again. Language may have changed. Landscape is a function of structure, process, and stage. क्रिटिकली एनालाइज देखो क्रिटिकली एनालाइज यहां पर डिस्कस वाई बिकॉज दिस इज अ ट्रू स्टेटमेंट अदर स्टेटमेंट इन द टू थाउजेंड एटीन इज लैंडस्केप लैंडस्केप इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर यस प्रोसेस एंड स्टेज वाई द क्वेश्चन क्रिटिकली एनालाइज बिकॉज यहां पर यू हैव टू क्रिटिसाइज डेविस बिकॉज द स्टेज इज नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट वॉट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज द स्ट्रक्चर एंड द प्रोसेस इज दैट आर ऑपरेटिंग फाइन इससे पहले क्लाइमेट स्लोप एंड रॉक स्ट्रक्चर influence evolution of channels evolution means erosion of river channels kya climate slope and structure so ye sab kis mein aata hai process and structure again the upsc is asking you why structure and processes are important rather than the stage that is what i say questions are more or less repeated 2016 2017 2018 the same question is coming but with the change in the language if you go some years back attempt the classification of geomorphic processes geomorphic processes glaciated erode the well endogenetic exogenetic and then exogenetic may glaciation that is rainfall then wind we have not done this but are you getting how to approach the question don't get afraid by looking at the questions here again the same question has been repeated as it is 2005 mein structure is a dominant control factor for the evolution of the landforms same hai structure is the dominant control on the landforms usme likha hai evolution of the landforms that is why prepare this seven eight laws which we are doing ye abhi tak most complex laws we have done iske baad ye laws are more or less very simple so structure will determine how much erosion is going to occur what is the other place that other thing that is going to determine the rate of erosion is the processes processes if the same process is acting on the two different rocks then the hard rock will be more resistant to erosion jo soft rock hai jisme may be chalk hai jisme may the limestone is there it will be eroded much faster so processes also will play a role and if the process is acting we have seen in the photos you can can you distinguish which process is acting if there is a soft alluvial soil means you will say ha this area has experienced a riverine erosion if there is moraine ya very very soft soil jo whitish color hai you will say yes it has experienced glaciated erosion if you find black soil you will say what it has experienced volcanic activities so you can determine with the help of processes agar 
रेत है इफ देर इज सैंड यू नो दैट हा पास्ट में ऑल्सो दिस क्लाइमेट हैज बिन द डेजर्ट टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट सो कैन यू कैन प्रॉपरली डिस्टिंग द डिफरेंट प्रोसेस दैट आर एक्टिंग ऑन द लैंड फॉर्म एंड देर फॉर कैन आई से जियोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस ऑल्सो लाइक द जियोलॉजिकल स्ट्रक्चर प्ले एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल बट जियोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस लिव देयर डिस्टिंक्ट इम्प्रिंट ऑन द लैंड फॉर्म वॉट आई टोल्ड यू इन द सेकेंड लेक्चर दैट अगर आप पेनसुलर इंडिया में वेन यू गो यू विल फाइंड सर्टन माउंटेन्स एंड यू विल सरप्राइज टू सी दे आर हैविंग अ ग्लेशियटेड एविडेंस ग्लेशियर का एविडेंस वाई बिकॉज इफ द नॉर्मल माउंटेन लुक्स लाइक दिस दिस इज द नॉर्मल माउंटेन वॉट विल बी द ग्लेशियर का एविडेंस यू आर रिमूविंग वन स्कूप यू आर रिमूविंग अदर स्कूप सो अ नॉर्मल माउंटेन विल गेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू माउंटेन विच विल बी लाइक दिस एज इफ समबडी हैज इरोडेड द साइड ऑफ द माउंटेन गेटिंग इट सो और यू विल बेटर अंडरस्टैंड इट हियर ये है अगर नॉर्मल माउंटेन सो द ग्लेशियटेड माउंटेन किसी ने यहां से निकाला किसी ने यहां से निकाला सो दिस एंटायर पार्ट विल बी इरोडेड ड्यू टू ग्लेशियर्स दिस एंटायर पार्ट विल बी इरोडेड ड्यू टू ग्लेशियर्स दिस विल बी रिमूव वॉट विल रिमेन इज ओनली दिस शेडेड लाइन विच आई विल कॉल नाउ एज अ माउंटेन बाकी सब जगह इट विल बी वाइटिश इन इट विल बी कवर्ड बाय आइस और इट विल बी हैविंग अ लेक so this will be eroded this will be eroded and this is how the mountain may look like if you go to vishnu devi and you will see numerous caves why because if this is the mountain some part of this mountain was having limestone if this was the limestone is limestone a hard rock or a soft rock soft rock limestone kabhi bhi doubt hai you remember limestone is nothing but chuna it is a soft rock so that soft rock when it mixes with water it gets eroded and therefore wherever we have limestone ka history what happens rain water will go down through the gaps inside the mountain because the and as soon as it comes in the contact with the limestone it will start eroding the limestone whatever the limestone is there it will start eroding so generally the regions which are having limestone ka rocks they will be having big caves and therefore vishnu devi mein you find caves and on the caves limestone or calcium will start dripping from the caves so you will find something like projections what we will call it as stalactites and stalagmites inside the caves or pani tapakta rahega present is key to the past this was once a karst topography this had there been no rainfall would this limestone would have been destroyed no limestone gets destroyed only because water reacts with calcium in the limestone rocks limestone is white in color because it is rich in calcium calcium will react with water to form an acid what is the name of acid carbonic acid and then that acid will erode away the rocks fine that is why little bit calcium or calcium is added in your toothpaste also so that that weak acid will destroy the germs nowadays gel mein silica is added again more concentrated form of calcium because they will destroy the germs but bahut zyada brush karne ke baad enamel bhi kharab ho jata hai therefore sensitive pepsodent sensitive because it has less calcium all this is erosion only wahan pe rocks ka erosion ho raha hai yahan pe teeth ka erosion ho raha hai fine what is whitening of the teeth whitening of the teeth is they will put in micro crystals in it why doctors don't recommend only advertisement industry recommends because if you have micro crystals they will rub and ultimately they will remove the protective layer of your teeth obviously the teeth will look will look white but you will have a problem of sensitivity getting it kya hota hai usme plastics micro beads getting it so the same thing is happening here so that is why present is key to the past climatic conditions as well as even if the present climatic condition is there it is going to have a distinct imprint so during harappa and mohenjodaro civilization the rainfall was very high in northeast west india so if you dug deep in the northwest india whether punjab rajasthan haryana you will find big river valleys which have gone dry below but today this is a desert or semi desert region so sand you will find on the top niche jaoge you will find the different kind so present is key to the past and therefore the next law of geo geomorphology is
geomorphic processes geomorphic processes operate at different rate operate at different rate and therefore earth therefore earth has different relief features earth has different relief features earth surface has different relief feature yeah earth has different relief features this is when your past year question ka language yahi pucha hai discuss or the real law is take down official language means real language to a large degree to a large degree earth surface possesses relief relief matlab change in the height earth surface possesses relief because the geomorphic processes operate at different rates ya yeah, differential rates Right? This is what Thornbury said. Pahela wala is what UPSC said. Dono ka meaning is same. Fine? What you are going to write now? This is what you can write. Q दिए है एजेंट ऑफ इरोजन में डिफरेंट दिस इज द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग यू कि यू कैन आंसर इन बोथ द वेज जियोमॉर्फिक प्रोसेस रिलीफ अर्थ हैज रिलीफ फीचर्स बिकॉज जियोमॉर्फिक प्रोसेस ऑपरेट एट डिफरेंट रेट सो यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन फर्स्ट वॉट इज प्रोसेस देन यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन वाई दे ऑपरेट एट डिफरेंट रेट्स डोंट वरी इफ योर अप्रोच इज हिज वे और इफ योर अप्रोच इज समथिंग एल्स इफ योर अप्रोच इज दिस यू कैन कॉन् कॉन्सेंट्रेट ओनली ऑन वन एजेंट इरोजन एंड टॉक इन द माउंटेनियस रीजन बिकॉज उसका स्पीड इज ग्रेटर उसका इरोजन कैपेसिटी इज ग्रेटर इट विल फॉर्म डीप वैलीज एंड देन इट विल इरोड द माउंटेन्स देन इट विल डू डिपोजिशन एंड डिपोजिशन इट विल फॉर्म प्लेन्स एट सम अदर प्लेस फाइन दिस इज वन वे ऑफ अप्रोचिंग और यू कैन से रिवर्स वाटर विल एक्ट डिफरेंटली एट डिफरेंट प्लेस विंड विल एक्ट डिफरेंटली एट डिफरेंट प्लेस एंड दस प्रेजेंट डिफरेंट रिलीफ फीचर्स एंड बोथ द एंसर्स आर राइट एंसर्स फाइन you do in the examination whatever you feel is easy fine so th there is two ways of approaching ha huh? earth has different relief because maybe wind has and less power than water and therefore wind cannot erode as compared to water or there is one way of approaching ha huh? water has different power at different places and therefore uska erosion capacity changes because uska erosion capacity changes therefore the landform ka height keeps on changing jitna zyada erosion the more the erosion the height of the landform will be less less the erosion the height of the landform will be greater but what is going to determine how the erosion rate differs structure so you have to the co crux of the question is geomorphic processes operate at different rate because structure is different fine because the structure is also different and therefore understanding see today's lecture yesterday first three lectures are complex uske baad things will be just an application of this topics interior of the earth hum padhenge upsc has asked it once in 1998 itna easy questions nahi aayega then uske baad it is continental drift sea floor spreading which you are going to study in gs here also fir se complexity badhegi when we will come to davis and penck fine but this you will find very very complex that you will find easy because you would have learned many things before that you will start understanding the next topics once we start once i once you do all the laws and start applying them fine but answer 
150 words, you can write it here also. Why we are doing this? Because from 2010, questions are coming from this area, not from the other topics. Getting it? So you can take down. The earth has different relief features in the form of earth has different relief features at the form of in the form of mountains, plateaus, plains. in the form of mountains, plateaus, plains or the shapes of the rocks differ or the shapes of the rocks differ because or the shapes of the rocks differ because the intensity and the type of the geomorphic processes intensity as well as the type of the geomorphic processes vary from region to region, vary from region to region, type of geomorphic processes vary from region to region. This variation may be due to this variation full stop ke baad, this variation may be due to may be due to different climatic conditions different climatic conditions or due to structure or due to structure or due to different structure. Look at the different climatic conditions first. If this is a mountain, fine, and this is a profile, uske baad there is a sea level. This is how the landform will pass from youth, mature and old age, fine, youthful stage, mature stage and very near to the sea level, the old age. In the youthful stage, yesterday we have seen the speed of the river is greater because the speed of the river is greater it can carry large amount of sediments and because it can carry large amount of sediments so sediments will rub the ocean rub the sea the river bed after rubbing the river bed they will carve out the river bed and make the river bed very deep now if this is a river bed kalhi maine bataya tha fir se i am repeating this and if the river that is is, is flowing here understand and if this is the stone, will this part of a river water? Yaha pe bhi pani hai, yaha pe bhi pani hai. Fine? Neeche bhi pani hai. And we will call this entire thing as a river. Which part is going to experience friction? All this part. So I am doing it in blue color. All this part is going to experience friction. Friction reduces the speed or increases the speed? Reduces the speed. Is this part experiencing friction? No. So, pe this part of a river will be flowing with great speed. Sides of the river will be flowing with comparatively lesser speed. Getting it? If you have gone swimming in the river, you will note, note that swimming in the middle is dangerous. Generally, boats or sub doob jati hai when they go into the middle. Why? And therefore, whenever you are swimming in the river, the law is never go straight crossing the channel, always go this way. So that automatically you will increase the speed and then the speed will decrease. swimming We are concerned with the stone. What is going to happen with the stone? Because this is flowing with lesser speed, it will the stone will be here and because upper ka part will is flowing with a greater speed, upper ka part of the stone will start circulating. So what will happen, stone will go in a circular manner because niche ka part is holding it and upper ka part is making it move. It will not move forward because niche ka part is holding. 
it will not remain at the same position because upar ka part is moving with a greater speed but what will happen wo ghumega it will move in a circular manner just like drilling machine getting it and what do the drilling machine do it will start making hole and because of making hole this valley will ultimately become very v shaped valley this process is you don't have to know the process you just have to know the name is known as pothole drilling this is even in gs why the v shaped valleys are formed due to pothole drilling what is pothole drilling stone ghumna just like a drilling machine why i have explained you the process it is not required for the exam getting it doubt here so here because of the pothole drilling what we will find in this we get very deep narrow v shaped valleys fine but as we come here the work of a river is this is the side view this is the this is the side view this is also the side view but this is cross sectional view as we come here the river will start depositing and therefore v shaped valleys will be converted into u shaped valleys and as we come here the u shaped valleys will become more and more shallow and they will become very broad and unka height will decrease it will be obviously near the sea level so this is what you will see in himachal pradesh uttarakhand this is what you will see in the lower parts of uttarakhand after rishikesh haridwar this is what you will see in up bihar and assam very wide rivers here rivers are never wide they are very deep so these are gorges why is this because processes are different yahan pe the major process is erosion yahan pe the major process is deposition fine second example ye sab likhna kuch bhi nahi hai ye sab you have i am giving you to understand the process there is a stone in the desert fine this is a stone in the desert which is the major agent of erosion in the desert wind water is there no there is a wind river and wind may the they are river wind and glacier may the difference is glacier has one specific direction river has one specific direction wind keeps on changing the directions because the wind keeps on changing the direction it can erode the rock from all the sides if it is blowing in this direction it will erode this side of the rock if it is blowing in the other direction it will erode the back side if it is moving in this direction it will erode the front side so wind does not have any specific direction getting it wind keeps on changing and the second major difference is wind is an active agent of erosion only near the ground as we go up wind ka intensity reduces getting it wind erosion wind cannot do erosion is done by the particles that are carried by the wind similarly river cannot do erosion river ke liye erosion karta hai the particles that are carried by the river that is the stone but wind cannot lift a big stone and go flow wind will take small small sand particles and flow fine so wind is an active agent of erosion only 150 cm 180 150 cm ya maximum 2 feet from the ground uske baad it loses uska power of erosion getting it have you ever seen ki you are walking wind is blowing and big stones are coming and hitting you nahi very small stones will go into the ice fine especially if you are small if you become big if you go into the top of a building wind we cannot carry that stone except agar cyclone biclone hai to fine sand particles so what happens only the lower part of the rock is getting eroded and because the lower part of rock is getting eroded from all the sides this rock which was initially rounded over the period of time will get converted into a rock this ka only lower part is eroded and it looks like a mushroom and we'll call this as a mushroom rock so if there is a mushroom rock if you go to any place and after and that place is getting very heavy rainfall but you see a mushroom rock there you being a geography student can you apply present is key to the past means in the past this region was desert getting process was different therefore rocks are different getting it so this is how different relief features are there and third is 
glaciers. Ye hai river, ye hai wind and third is glacier. Glacier is huge mass of ice. River mein stones cannot float. What is the property of river or wind? The property of river or wind is jitna zyada speed it can carry large amount of sediments, jitna speed kam it will drop the sediments and it will carry smaller amount of sediments. So in the river there is differential difference in the sediments it can carry. It can carry big stones only if the speed is greater. It can carry small stones if the speed decreases. If the speed further decreases, it will drop the small stones, it will be carrying only sand. And when the speed further decreases near the sea coast, sand se bhi chota particle it can carry. So delta is always made up of, yes, sea beach is always made up of very small sands. Fine, but if you go to Uttarakhand, you will find big stones. Why? Because carrying capacity depends upon speed and strength. But glacier mein aisa koi difference nahi hai. Glacier mein big small stones are all carried by the glacier because it is solid. So a glacier is coming, beach mein admi hai, kursi hai, stone hai, rock hai, sand hai, sub glacier leke jayega. It will not differentiate. Wind will look at the stone. It may carry a man with himself, but stone it cannot carry. River, it may carry a man, but stone ko bifurcate karke fir se nikal jayega. Glacier cannot do because matter, solid. So glacier will carry all the particles along with itself. When the glacier comes down, you will find glaciers are having different kind of materials. So glacier is carrying different types of rocks along with itself. Fine. But what happens? Glacier melts during the summer season or glacier melts in geography, as a geography student, you should now know that glacier melts even after certain specific ice age. So please trace in ice age, ke baad, most of the glaciers of the world have melted. Once they get melted, it gets converted into river. A river, oh, bade stones carry nahi kar sakta. Pani nikal jayega, water will drain away. So if a glacier comes in this region, there is an end of an ice age, it gets converted into water and what it is carrying then inside is exposed. Getting it? So what do we find in the glaciated region? We will find some of the rocks which are so confusingly placed that you cannot tell ki ye kaisa tha. There can be a big rock, there can be small rock, uske upar small rock, uske upar big rock and this rocks, I am just giving you an example, this rocks are known as erratics. Why erratics? Because a geomorphologist who started studying first thought ki ye landform kaise bana. They could not come to a conclusion, they got irritated. And therefore, because it does not have any law of physics, you know, naami de diya erratics. Why? Because once they were in the glaciers, they were under force. Because they were under force, they got stuck to each other. And once the glacier melted, rocks jaise te waise hi rahe And they formed a landform. And these are known as erratics. So, process is different, landforms are different. Getting it? This is what you have to write here in the answer with some of the examples. Easiest example is mushroom rock. Easiest example is erratics. So that is an example of Pleistocene Ice Age glaciation. Pleistocene Ice Age glaciation is there. That is why. Telangana ho, Maharashtra ho, you will find, ya Karnataka ho, you will find these things. But of very old rocks. But you will find the best erratics in Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh. Glaciated topography. Even today there are glaciers. Right? Getting it? So can I continue? There is no need of diagram. Main banane bolunga, tabhi banana. We'll include some points, then only we'll make the diagrams. Fine? So, next. The processes operate with varying intensity. The processes operate with varying intensity. Because operate with varying intensity. Ab intensity kyu different hai? Intensity strength because structure is different. Strength of the 
processes is different, is different because structure is different. You cannot erode this, but you can easily erode this because it is a soft rock. So processes operate with varying intensity because lithology or rock structure changes. Rock structure changes. Rock structure changes. The hard rock, the hard rock, is is eroded easily. Hard rock is eroded easily. Yes, is eroded easily. If the speed of a river is greater, if speed of a river is greater, which is observed in the mountainous regions, getting it? We are talking about the erosion of the hard rock, but kahan pe? In the mountainous region. On other hand, the same hard rock, the same hard rock will be more resistant to erosion in the plains, same hard rock will be more resistant to erosion in the plains. dividing the dividing the river channel dividing the river channel and hence hence the relief will be different relief will be different draw this diagram. Relief will be different. What is this relief? V shaped value. Are you understanding this diagram? There is a big rock, water is coming, and because it cannot erode, because its speed is not in the plains, its erosion capacity is not, so what happens? Water in different channels is shifting. Getting it? See, there is a river which is flowing, and it is coming now into the plain region. Because it is coming in the plain region, imagine a condition that these are very hard rocks in the plain region. Had this been mountainous region, the speed of a river is so great that it rocks. Ko le jati. Now the speed is not there. So what it will do? It will get divided. After that, it will get divided. Here, it will get divided. And this channel is what is known as a braided channel. And you study this in GS, only example, Brahmaputra has largest riverine islands in the world. Now, this are nothing but islands, Baki subject is Pani hai. Example, 
Majuli Island. This is an example of an breaded child. Bread, choti. It is always intervened. So, breaded channel hamesha mix hota. That is why Bogi Bill Bridge was such a major construction. What happens in Brahmaputra? River becomes so wide. Here the river is normal, Arunachal tak. But once it comes to Brahmaputra, Assam, it is a flat. Lower Assam is a very flat. Assam ki topography in the lower region of Assam is same like Great Plains. It is a very flat surface. So when it go, comes in the flat surface, the speed of Brahmaputra has decreased. And Brahmaputra is carrying so large amount of sediments. Arunachal said directly it comes to Assam. So it deposits big rocks. Once it deposits big rocks, Next current jo hai pani ka, wo change karta hai direction and it may go in any direction. So there is a place in Brahmaputra, jaha pe there is a world record of river shifting uska course in 24 hours by 9 kilometers. Hence river is flowing in this particular direction, fine, next day 9 kilometers in this particular direction. What is the problem of this? Because of this, you cannot do any kind of a planning activity. You know, chalo, river is always flowing here, you construct a house here. Ab it has shifted 9 kilometers, hence it will go through your house. That is why Brahmaputra is known as sorrow of Assam. Because any river which will shift, it will cause floods. Shifting its course means it is going in any direction it wants. That is not the case with Godavari. Baju mein rock side cannot erode peninsular rocks. Getting it? Wo ekhi direction mein jayegi. Or Kosi, sorrow of Bihar. The same thing. It is coming from Nepal carrying large amount of sediments. It comes to Kosi, the Bihar and it will shift to its direction. So India and Nepal government to control the floods of Kosi make a very big dam. What does Kosi do? Again shifts to its direction and dam becomes useless. Then we have to extend one more dam here. Fine. Similarly was the case with Yamuna once upon a time. So those who are local in Delhi, you will see Britishers had constructed very bridges made up of iron to cross Yamuna. Aaj wo Loha Bridge, Loha Bridge, it is present near CP etc. Waha se train jati hai, buses jati hai, yeah, this thing comes. These are because Yamuna is to shift to its direction. Then what the Britishers did? Britishers filled the Yamuna with big stones. And so that it shifted there and on that flood plains of Yamuna, they constructed a planned city known as Newton's Delhi or New Delhi with Uska business district being Connaught Place. Otherwise, where the Connaught Place is there today was once a region where Yamuna used to flow. Getting it? Now that is the difference in the engineering, how the technology can use it. So this is the example. Process dono jage same hai, but structure differs. Uska power differs, fine. Again, next point. The processes may also differ. The processes may also differ because of changes in the climatic conditions. because of the changes in the climatic conditions. Changes in the climatic conditions. Hot and humid climates, hot and humid climates cause more weathering and erosion of the rocks. cause more weathering and erosion of the rocks and therefore topography or relief therefore the topography or relief 
is generally flat is generally flat while the cold climates cold climates will have comparatively higher topographies comparatively higher topography because of less weathering because of less weathering less weathering so this is true even for india which part of himalayas get more rainfall the one which is on the west or one which is on the east east so if we consider the himalayas this is how the himalayas are in india so we will see if one part of the himalayas is western one part is eastern himalayas can you see the east, the shape of the himalayas is such ki this western himalaya in the state of jammu kashmir uttarakhand and himachal they are very far away from the tropic of cancer and this is very near to the tropic of cancer so this receives very heavy rainfall it is also near to the bay of bengal sea so this receives very heavy rainfall this receives comparatively less rainfall and sare bade mountains is section mein in india as compared to the other section one reason is vegetation one reason is climate there is another reason also that is the geosyncline but this is also one reason where is the biggest mountains of india in this region k2 godwin austin annapurna mount everest these are comparatively smaller with the exception of kanchenjunga but kanchenjunga is in the temperate region not in the tropics this is very very small hills this part of the himalayas right but itna exam mein likhne ka scope nahi hota this just for understanding right as the climatic conditions change as the climatic conditions change winter mein rainfall nahi hoga snowfall hoga snowfall why rainfall jet stream aayega to snowfall so kashmir mein rainfall aur snowfall snowfall so it is cold climate it will result into i told you precipitation so precipitation is rainfall and snowfall if the outside temperature is less than 0 degree celsius precipitation will be snow if it is more than 0 degree celsius it will be rain so if you go to kashmir what is the outside temperature less than 0 degree celsius so it will result into snowfall as you go up to a greater height temperature decreases so if cloud is formed very near to the surface rainfall if its cloud is formed very high from the surface snowfall उतना दूर जाने के लिए हीट नहीं आए तो माउंटेन्स तो है एयर थोड़ी टनल से जाएगी एयर विल बी फोर्स टू राइज अप बाय द माउंटेन्स एंड इट विल कूल इफ देर इज अ माउंटेन बैरियर व्हाट विल हैपन टू द एयर इट विल बी राइजिंग अपवर्ड्स गेटिंग इट नो ग्लेशियर विल कॉल इज इरोजन स्नोफॉल विल नेवर कॉज इरोजन देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन ग्लेशियर एंड स्नो glacier is ice and snow is snow kya difference hai dono mein aapke fridge mein kya hai deep freezer snow tray ice tray ice tray so what is ice ice is always hard snow is always soft glacier causes erosion because wo ice hai and ice is always hard jo ice cubes bante hain hum kabhi nahi kehte snow cubes we call it as ice cubes that is the difference between snow and ice snow is very very soft you will enjoy the snowfall ice you will never enjoy because ice is ole hail jo girta hai hail storm is ice particles snow never hear it is fine that is a difference so snow will is never harmful it is the ice that is harmful q banta hai ice from the snow when anything continuously melts and freezes melts and freezes so it will get converted into solid crystalline form what we will call as ice so if you are having old type ka fridges at your here rooms you see tray ke niche 
स्नो बनेगा विच एंड क्यूब्स विल बी इन दैट बॉक्स दैट बॉक्स के नीचे देर इज स्नो सो फ्रॉस्ट फ्री रेफ्रिजरेटर में नहीं है बट विदाउट फ्रॉस्ट फ्री रेफ्रिजरेटर पुराने रेफ्रिजरेटर यू हैड आइस स्नो फॉर्मिंग नीचे ऑटोमेटिकली ड्यू टू कूलिंग एंड आइस कहाँ पे वैन यू टेक मेल्टेड पार्ट दैट इज वॉटर पुट इट इन टू द ट्रे एंड देन पुट इट इन दैट देन दैट गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू आइस दैट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस अंडरस्टैंडिंग हिंदी में देर इज नो डिफरेंस इट इज बर्फ ओनली बर्फ का गोला बट इन इंग्लिश इट इज शुड बी स्नो का गोला बिकॉज वी टेक द आइस वी क्रश इट एंड देन इट बिकम सॉफ्ट देन वी पुट दैट ऑल थिंग्स थिंग अदरवाइज स्नो यू कैन नॉट इट यू कैन इट आइस यू कैन नॉट इट यू कैन इट स्नो चुस्की आई एम सेंग अबाउट सो गेटिंग इट एज द क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन चेंजेस which may be due to which may be due to shifting of continents which may be due to shifting of continents or may be due to or due to height due to height height also results into change in the climatic condition as you go up it starts getting cooled you go from delhi to any hill station climate changes or due to height the processes operating will differ the processes operating will differ and therefore relief features will differ and therefore relief features will differ therefore relief features will differ getting it so processes are ultimately determined by what structure so conclusion the difference in the relief features the difference in the relief features on the earth surfaces on the earth surface is not just due to processes alone is not just due to the processes alone but also due to the structure processes alone but also due to the structure due to the structure but the entire landform the entire landform on the earth surface is an outcome of is an outcome of either endogenetic processes outcome of either endogenetic processes or exogenetic processes or exogenetic processes the endogenetic processes such as volcanism dekho before i dictate you this line what is happening on the earth it is nothing but a fight between endogenetic processes jo earth ke niche se are coming and exogenetic processes which are coming from the atmosphere if the endogenetic processes are dominant height of the landform will be high if the exogenetic processes are dominant the height of the landform will be less so what we see in the himalayas though the himalayas are getting eroded every day still we can conclude that himalayas ka height is increasing iska matlab which forces are dominant endogenetic plate tectonics is more important than river erosion isliye the height of the himalayas is increasing once upon a time there will be some time after some years endogenetic force will stop operating indian plate will stop moving the height of the himalayas will become stable once the height of the himalayas will become stable there is no endogenetic force so exogenetic force will erode and thus the height of the himalayas will again reduce but it will take 
लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम इसलिए डेविस कहता है स्ट्रक्चर प्रोसेस एंड टाइम फाइन दैट इज वाई वी फॉलो डेविस गेटिंग इट यूपीएससी का सिलेबस इज रिमेंबर डेविसियन इंडियन जोग्राफी इज मोस्टली डेविसियन वी डोंट फॉलो पेंक क्योंकि पेंक हैज रिटर्न एवरी थिंग इन जर्मन लैंग्वेज एंड उसका ट्रांसलेशन डेविस के फॉलोअर्स ने जान बुझ के रॉन्ग किया सो दैट डेविस को फॉलो करेंगे लोग एंड पेंक का क्रिटिसिजम करेंगे ये भी एक पॉलिटिक्स था रिमेंबर ऑल द पेंक का बुक्स विच वर ट्रांसलेटेड इसलिए पेंक की थियोरी किसी को समझ में नहीं आती नो बडी अंडरस्टैंड पेंक की थियोरी बिकॉज द फॉलोअर्स ऑफ डेविस ओनली ट्रांसलेटेड पेंक इन इंग्लिश एंड दे ट्रांसलेटेड इट ऑल रॉन्ग सो दैट पेंक विल गेट एम गेट क्रिटिसाइज एंड डेविस विल बी द हीरो फाइन सो दिस इज वॉट इज हैपन इसलिए नो बडी इन द वर्ल्ड फॉलोज पेंक दे राइट ओनली इन कंक्लूजन की येस पेंक वॉज राइट बट वी स्टडी डेविस Getting it? Because all the translations has occurred long time. Ab nobody is interested now. German is not interested in translating in English because Davis and Pank are old. Ab aara hai sab computer modeling, systems analysis, but not in our syllabus. There is no syllabus me systems analysis in geomorphology. It is only in human geography. Fine. So, endogenetic processes. endogenetic processes will increase the height of the landforms increase the height of the landforms to build up mountains valleys mountains valleys and the exogenetic processes will destroy this landforms will destroy this landforms exogenetic processes will destroy this landforms to to form featureless plains to form featureless no features no mountains no valleys as a featureless plains fine right? right from lahore till calcutta if you go you will find kuch nahi featureless hai puri zameen flat hai you can easily see the horizon sky touching the land because it is featureless ya dur mein khet dikhenge ya trees dikhengi you go to peninsular india you will you cannot see the horizon at the horizon either you will see mountain ya hills that is the difference why because this is featureless peneplain peninsular india is uneven topography rock structure getting it thus thus each geomorphic process each geomorphic process develops its own characteristic each geomorphic process develops its own characteristics on the landforms on the landforms on the landforms develop its own characteristics on the landforms up uh, tell me is the climate changing continuously yes. so when the climate is changing process is changing initially the earth was formed due to endogenetic processes then climate or the then the exogenetic processes started reducing the earth ka height but this processes kabhi desert kaam karta hai winds kabhi wo climate there is heavy rainfall then then there is a less rainfall then there is sometimes ice age glaciers come so what the processes keep on changing fine and processes change hua to landforms will ka shape will keep on changing fine so the today's geomorphology is it simple or is it complex why because there is continuous change and therefore the next law is and see except for the first two laws baki sab interrelated hai ab bahut aasan hai think karna 
Fine? So, for, except for the first two laws, that is Davis wala law and structure wala law, baki ke sab ke answer ek jaise dikhenge. More or less you can write in your own language also. You have to understand the crux. So, next, complexity. Complexity, this also has been your past year question. Complexity of geomorphic evolution is more complex, is more common complexity of geomorphic evolution is more common evolution is more common than simplicity complexity of geomorphic evolution is more common than simplicity Take an example here, no need of writing, understand Africa. Africa was joined to South America, fine. This was Madagascar. After Madagascar, this was India. After India, this was Australia. After Australia, this entire was Antarctica. This was a single continent once upon a time. All this continent started breaking and India started moving northwards. It was near the South Pole, so yaha pe tha glacial process. As it, it came near the equator, yaha pe hot and humid climate was there, fine. So process has changed. As it was going northwards, Sometimes where it came, this was the region jahan se there was extreme volcanic eruption. India was like a boat traveling over the oceanic crust. Can continent float over the oceanic crust? Yes, that is a true thing. You will have to wait for half an hour while the continents float over the oceanic crust. Fine. So when it was going to the north, this was the region jahan se bahut zyada volcanoes were occurring. Only the western part of India came under that volcano and therefore here we have, we had volcanic eruptions. As it came up, so yaha pe the rock which formed was basalt. Now basalt normally is a very strong rock, but it becomes a very weak rock when it is put under the water for continuously long time. So when it came in near the this region, it experienced very hot and humid climate, everyday rainfall and the basalt got broken into jahan jahan nadiya ja rahi thi, it got broken into soil, fine. And then when it came here in this position, actually this was not the shape of India, India was somewhat like this big continent, fine. This was what it is, it was moving upwards. Yaha pe whenever the Himalayas were formed, itna jor se collision hua with the Indian plate, between the Indian and Eurasian plate, that many part of India started developing crack. And this is how the crack developed in India. And after the development of crack, what happened? Again, when the second collision occurred, so the western part submerged and went below the sea and the eastern part remained. Getting it? This was India going upwards. There was a collision, crack hua and the western part went below the sea. Thoda bahut it went below the sea. And therefore, what we see today's India is Himalayas, but the crack is Western Ghats, Vindhyas, Satpuras and then through the Aravalis. So for a person who was standing, who is like this, now it has gone below the sea, a person who is standing here on the western side of India, when he looks towards India from the western side, usko lagta it is a very continuous mountain. But it is not a mountain, what it is? A part of a plateau which has now gone below the sea and therefore western ghats. 
तो हम जी में पढ़ते हैं वेस्टर्न घाट्स की कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इट इज कंटिन्यूस हैविंग ओनली थ्री गैप्स पाल घाट बोर घाट थाल घाट गैप हाउ कैन द माउंटेन बी कंटिन्यूस माउंटेन कैन नॉट बी कंटिन्यूस इट इज ऑलवेज द प्लाटू विच इज कंटिन्यूस और वॉल विच इज कंटिन्यूस सो वेस्टर्न घाट लुक्स लाइक अ वॉल हियर एंड वॉट हैज हैपन देर वेर न्यूमरस वंस इट वेंट इन टू द क्रैक फिर बारिश के बाद गोदावरी कृष्णा कावेरी वाइगाई महानदी एंड यहाँ पे नर्मदा एंड तापी सो रिवर विच वॉज ओरिजिनेटिंग ऑन द ईस्टर्न साइड आर फ्लोइंग टू द ईस्ट रिवर्स विच आर ओरिजिनेटिंग ऑन द वेस्टर्न साइड आर फ्लोइंग टू द वेस्ट बीच में क्या है गैप एंड इफ यू लुक at the atlas you will find this is how our continental shelf the most shallow part of the sea is like this so yahan pe bahut zyada wide hai why because the entire part has went below the sea when the life goes below the sea remember when the life goes below the sea it gets converted if the carbon is trapped it gets converted into petroleum and natural gas so where we get petroleum gujarat and maharashtra coast सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट का है सो वी कॉल दिस एज बॉम्बे है बसीना वाई इन दिस पार्ट गेटिंग इट वाई नॉट इन केरला बिकॉज केरला का पार्ट डिड नॉट गो बिलो द सी इट इज ओनली टिल कर्नाटका इट वेंट बिलो द सी वॉट डज द माइथोलॉजी से कृष्णा माइग्रेटेड फ्रॉम यूपी टू गुजरात ही सेट अप अ सिटी नोन एज द्वारका इन गुजरात एंड वेर इज दैट द्वारका बिलो द सी फाइन वॉट डज जोग्राफी से western part is submerged it is below the sea getting it so hmm eastern ghats is a different they are fold mountains just like aravallis for that we will have to wait till continental drift theory and after that godavari etc have made a valley so what you find in peninsular india jo part bacha hua hai glacial landform volcanic landforms इक्वेटोरियल टोपोग्राफी एज वेल एज प्रेजेंट डे टोपोग्राफी इसलिए स्टेटमेंट कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ जियोमोर्फिक फीचर्स इज मोर कॉमन दैन सिंप्लिसिटी बिकॉज वॉट एवर द लैंड दैट इज सर्वाइविंग टूडे इज हैज गॉन थ्रू सो मेनी डिफरेंट कि कभी ग्लेशियर्स फॉर्म हुए कभी ये हुआ कभी वो हुआ एंड देयर फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द लैंड फॉर्म इज नॉट वन साइकिल ग्लेशियल साइकिल इज देयर विंड का साइकिल इज देयर वॉल्कैनिक साइकिल इज देयर एंड देयर फॉर लैंड फॉर्म इज पॉली साइकिल नॉट सिंगल साइकिल ऑफ इरोजन न्यूमरस आर एक्टिंग नाउ इमेजिन If we do continuously pollution like this, if we do like this, what is predicted? Monsoon is shifting eastward. I have taught today in the GS also why monsoon is shifting eastward. If the monsoon shifts eastward, as in India becomes a desert, wind will become an active agent of erosion. So, जहाँ पे monsoon or river erosion के evidences है, future में there will be desert evidences. Again, it will become more complex. Where does it apply? older landforms not the new landforms so the best example is peninsular plateau new landforms will have only one feature so the great plains of india are monotonous they are not having features they are not as complex as the peninsular plateau peninsular plateau is very complex canada is very complex usa is very complex for example if i draw the map of usa Canada Now this is a region of the world which was normal form then came the Pleistocene ice age and this was under the glaciers Now the when the glaciers you already know are very big agents of erosion most powerful because of solid hai the glaciers started moving in this region and because the glaciers started moving in this region they eroded the surface of USA Canada to a greater extent because of erosion depressions were formed after the end of glacial period ice melted and in this depressions lakes were formed so in usa canada you will find large number of lakes great bear lake great slave lake athabasca winnipeg winnipegosis and ultimately the five great lakes of north america सो जितना यू विल गो टू द रीजन जहां पे प्लिस्टोसिन आइस एज का ग्लेशियेशन था यू विल फाइंड न्यूमरस लेक्स 
Norway, a country of Finland, a country of thousand lakes. USA, Canada, big lakes. You will not find lakes near us in the tropics. Why? Because we have not experienced glaciation. Glaciation hoga, tohi depression will be formed because glaciers will scratch the surface of the earth. In that ice will get stuck and after the ice gets stuck, once the ice melts, it gets converted into lakes. Getting it? Complex. Today, if you go ki why there are lakes, nobody will understand. You will think ki God has given them more water, it has given us less water. No, it is all climate ka change. Fine? Understood the concept? This answer will be a bit tough. Why? Because you will have to read right now one thinker ki there are monoprocess simple landforms, there are polycyclic landforms and what are the polycyclic landforms? Short note may come in directly on the polycyclic landform. This UPSC has not asked but it has asked many times write a short note on the polycyclic landforms and if you look 92 ka paper they have asked you write a short note on trepen concept. I will not explain you what is a trepen concept. So, take down. Most of the topography of the earth, most of the topography of the earth has been produced, has been produced due to numerous cycles of erosion, due to numerous cycles of erosion. There are very few landforms, there are very few landforms which are an outcome of, which are an outcome of only a single cycle of erosion, only a single cycle of erosion. Next point, the landforms are classified into, the landforms are classified into simple landforms, simple landforms, second compound landforms, compound landforms, third monocyclic landforms, monocyclic landforms, fourth polycyclic or multicyclic landforms, And fifth, exhumed, exhumed or resurrected landforms. Can anyone tell me the English meaning of the word resurrection? Something like rejuvenation. Something is destroyed. हम हम एमएस धोनी के लिए यूज करते हैं और पहले सचिन तेंदुलकर के लिए यूज करते थे उस फॉर्म वाज गॉन पीपल आस्क देम टू रिटायर दे सडनली केम आफ्टर अ ब्रेक एंड हिट्स अ सेंचुरी एंड यू सेड नया अवतार ऑफ द धोनी फाइन सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ ही इज क्रिटिसाइज्ड बाय एवरीवन फॉर प्लेइंग विद बांग्लादेश एट अ वेरी स्लो स्पीड एंड इन द नेक्स्ट मैच आई गेस टुडे इटसेल्फ टुडेस मैच इटसेल्फ धोनी ने कुछ कर दिया कमाल यू विल से रीसरक्शन ऑफ एमएस धोनी the resurrection means naya avatar, new, something which comes back. Ab landform kaise naya avatar mein aayega? Landform was not present, it was below the sea. Something happened, landform came out of the sea. 
then it is known as resurrection. The resurrected landforms will be due to change in the sea level. Getting it? So, suppose resurrection when it will happen due to global warming, sea level increases. Entire Bangladesh is lost, entire coastal India is lost, and then suppose after 120 1 lakh year, a new ice age comes, then sea level will fall down. When the sea level will fall down, people will study and say, Are this is one country Bangladesh, a city mil gay Dhaka, a city mil gay Bombay, a city mil gay Chennai, then it is a resurrection. Getting it? So, how many types of landforms? See, it is very simple. Simple landforms, simple ke baad, compound or complex landforms. Uske baad, monocyclic, polycyclic. And fifth is resurrected. Now, what will be the simple landforms? Only one geomorphic process is operating. What will be the compound or complex landforms? More than one geomorphic process is operating today. What will be monocyclic landform? It has gone through only one cycle of erosion. Maybe only river has acted on that. What is a compound landform? It has gone to multiple cycles of erosion. River thi, then it went below the sea, then glaciers came, it came out of glaciers and resurrected or exhumed topography. Now take simple landform. Take an example of North India. Is only one geomorphic process operating on North India? No. Summers mein heat is there. So, temperature is destroying the rocks, winters may snowfall or very cold weather is destroying the rocks. What happens due to cold weather? In the cold weather during the night there are dew drops, water gets condensed, water will enter the cracks. In Hindi you will call this dew drops as os and that once it goes into the cracks, because the rock is very, very cold, who owes or that dew will get frozen into frost, ya pala. Once it gets frozen into frost, it will expand in volume. Fir o rock ki crack badegi, it will still go below and thus the rocks will get on destroying. What happens in the summer season? Din mein heat bohat zada hai. So, rocks expand and if evening mein there is sudden rainfall, rocks will contract. Sudden expansion and contraction, you know what happens. Cold glass may if you put hot water, crack, rocks will crack, same, concept is same. Why the cold glass is in contracted state? If you put suddenly a hot water, it will expand and it will crack. So, you will not find a single landform in the world just ke upar ek process operate hota hai. Kyo? Because climate change hota hai. None of the regions of the world has only one climate. Even the polar region has summers, this my ice will melt. So, which landforms do not exist in reality? Simple landforms. Which landforms will, will be there in reality? All. Compound landforms? This. Monocyclic landforms? This. Polycyclic landforms? Plateau. Getting it? Peninsula plateau. Exhumed surfaces? Nahi karna hai. Fine? Wo short note alag aega, uske liye aapko second cycle of erosion padna padega. Fine? Exhumed abhi hum nahi karein. We are not going to do the exhumed landform. You are just writing this short note. So, what we see in reality is complexity. Fine? So, simple process, simple landforms, simple landforms are the product of only one geomorphic process are the product of only one geomorphic process. Compound landforms, compound landforms are the product of, are the product of two or more geomorphic processes. Two or more geomorphic processes. Most of the landforms in the world or even you can write very directly all the landforms in the world. Aisa nahi most. All the landforms in the world. Kaun sa hoga? Simple or compound? are compound landforms. 
getting it north india if you say delhi delhi may be climate changes so sometimes sun is acting sometimes rain is acting so there cannot be simple landforms processes are changing all the landforms in the world are compound landforms because because sometimes water acts water acts while during the dry season wind or glacier may act wind or glacier may act wind or glacier may act monocyclic landforms are those which are produced or those which are produced during a single cycle of erosion during a single cycle of erosion what is the difference between process and cycle of process process mein a process is acting cycle of process mein process goes through youth mature and old age pura khatam ho raha hai so is great plains of india monocyclic ya polycyclic you cannot even say that properly why because great plains of india when i say it is divided into punjab plains rajasthan kach region of gujarat haryana plains ganga plains fine brahmaputra plains Himalaya to you already know that they are not monocyclic because Himalayas was once as ocean then it became a land ye monocyclic you can say to some extent but Punjab Rajasthan etc not because this was once a sea then it got converted into land ab it it has gone through entire one cycle of erosion usse pehle kitne cycle of erosion hue the we don't know because there is limitation of technology that you cannot study whatever has occurred on the earth before 6 million years because right now technology is such computer modeling is such ki we can know the history of the earth only properly up to 600 million years ago what is the age of the earth तो ये भी नहीं है क्योंकि अरावलीज आर डेफिनेटली ओल्डर देन 600 मिलियन ईयर से अरावलीज आर द फर्स्ट फोल्ड माउंटेन्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड याद रखना फर्स्ट फोल्ड माउंटेन्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड जो यहां पे है सो साइंटिस्ट गेट बैफल्ड कि जब यहां पे विच इज द ग्रेट प्लेन्स ऑफ इंडिया तीन साल पहले एक डायनासोर का फॉसिल मिला उसका टेल ही मिला विच वॉज समवेयर अराउंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स मीटर्स लॉन्ग बट वो डायनासर सिर्फ इट इज फाउंड ओनली इन द ओशन और मिला कहां पे इन पंजाब फाइन दैट मीन दिस वॉज बिलो दी कच्छ रीजन व्हाइट सैंड क्यू है सी इट वॉज वंस बिलो दी सो आज भी सॉल्ट कम्स अप फ्रॉम द सी वॉटर गेट्स इवेपरेटेड सॉल्ट रिमेन्स गिविंग सैंड व्हाइट कलर सो वी डोंट है इंडिया में तो इट इज नॉट देयर इंडिया इज हाईली कॉम्प्लेक्स we have the youngest fold mountains you have the most fertile plains in the world you have one of the largest desert in the world you have one of the oldest rocks in the world you have volcanoes also here volcanic evidence also so what we find in india is climate which is minus 60 degree celsius kargil region which is at the poles fine climate which is 52 degree celsius which should be in the africa rainfall 
if you look here the highest rainfall in the world semi arid landscape matlab marathwada region so you will find in india all the climatic conditions that are present from poles to the equator and isliye you will see the imprint of india is so complex cheetah is a animal of grasslands we had cheetah in india we destroyed it rhino is an animal of grassland rhino was rhino is it present in india yes assam but once upon a time ye pure region mein rhino tha we have destroyed the forest due to agriculture tiger is an asian animal it is found in india lion is an african animal it is found in india why climate has changed so all the animals can add just to india leopard found in india flying fox found in india flying squirrel found in india ostrich not found in india emu to some extent but ostrich like animal great indian bustard found in india getting it that shows india has each and every climatic type getting it impress turtle yesterday found in india which state arunachal pradesh it is the largest turtle or second largest turtle second largest turtle so wo fact impress which was recently in news is a species of animal found in which state ye fact prelims ke liye yaad rakhna fine collect turtle mila not tortoise mila not turtle turtle to pichle saal mila tha so tortoise mila which is only the second tortoise in which is found locally in india and that uska name is impress fine it is found in northeast because northeast has largest number of tortoises turtle last year we had what was its name you must have prepared for prelims north river terrapin northern river terrapin it had found we had find found in india so you remember ki monocyclic landscape jo nahi milta mat likho exam mein they are very rare polycyclic yes fine so monocyclic landscapes monocyclic landscapes are extremely are extremely rare are extremely rare monocyclic landscapes are extremely rare rare and very localized they are not found in large they are very localized restricted to restricted to newly created landscapes restricted to newly created landscapes newly created landscapes so himalayas mein there is only one cycle of erosion if you consider himalayas as a newly created landscape forget ki it was below the oceans etc it has newly been created abhi tak it is going only through one cycle of erosion which has not even been completed but it is not simple it is compound because glacier is also acting and the river is also acting getting it simple compound is a different concept compound mein monocyclic polycyclic or exhumed it is like this polycyclic landscapes are very common polycyclic landscapes are very common because majority of majority of earth has gone through earth surface has gone through has gone through more than one cycle of erosion one cycle of erosion this is due to this is due to sub point number 1 this is due to fluctuations in the climatic conditions fluctuations in the climatic conditions such as alternate such as alternate warm period followed by glaciated period 
such as alternate warm period followed by period of glaciation followed by the period of glaciation hamesha earth dekho earth hamesha will be warm because it is warm why it is warm because heat is there inside the earth this heat will be given out through mountains in the form of volcanoes volcanoes jitna zyada heat is given out utna zyada dust jitna powerful is the volcano utna more dust will be released and this dust will be spreading in the atmosphere once this dust spreads in the atmosphere it will block the sunlight and then there will be cold period so what had happened up to volcanoes have become cold but when the earth was very very hot large scale volcanic eruptions occurred during a period you know cretaceous and after the cretaceous period there was so much dust in the world that pleistocene ice age came this is how alternate warm and dry period goes fine so if there is large scale volcano last year there was one volcano jiska only small part erupted if you have studied for prelims you must have studied it is a volcano in indonesia which erupted ana krakatoa ana krakatoa means ana means child child of krakatoa erupted tsunami was there killing some 200 300 people fine and it also resulted into settling of the dust jab original krakatoa had erupted ana means child of krakatoa this is a huge mountain below the sea krakatoa and it has numerous small volcanic vents so usme se ek small volcanic vent erupted fine when last time in the recorded history of the earth original krakatoa erupted kahan pe hai krakatoa indonesia uska particles were thrown right up to chennai uska sound was heard in usa it is so powerful volcano and it gave out so much amount of dust ki agle 20 saal earth received 2% less sunlight 2% less sunlight means enough for snow to be formed getting it so imagine all the mountains like krakatoa erupting kya hoga ice age this is how pleistocene ice age was formed so once pleistocene ice age was formed fir rainfall hua dust nikal gayi kya hua fir se hot climate so this is how earth alternatively goes through ab we are warming there will be so much pollution ki fir se we will be blocking the sunlight it will be followed by ice age so global warming ka ek small you will do this in gs global warming ka ek small phenomena is global cooling i have taught them today itself but we have not done in detail whenever there is pollution there is global cooling fine global cooling less sunlight yes it will shift yes example example during the pleistocene during the pleistocene 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 is an ice age कुछ नया पढ़ना नहीं होता वो ही वर्ड्स होते हैं प्लिस्टोसिन क्रेटेशियस कैम्ब्रियन प्री कैम्ब्रियन चार पांच ही वर्ड्स है यू शुड जस्ट नो वेयर टू यूज व्हाट वर्ड इन द आंसर यू आर नॉट सपोज टू नो द एंटायर जियोलॉजिकल हिस्ट्री एग्जांपल्स वही चार पांच घूम के ऐसा नहीं है कि यू हैव टू रिव सेनोजोइक मेसोजोइक एसोजोइक होलोसिन कुछ नहीं बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट प्रिलिम्स की इट इज गोइंग टू चेक यूर फैक्चुअल नॉलेज दिस इज मीन्स यू हैव टू शो यूर नॉलेज शो जो हमने लिया है वही शो करेंगे नॉट वॉट दे आर चेकिंग यू शुड नो तो ऑब्वियसली कंसेप्ट यू शुड नो बट वही चीज है मैं आपको और तीन चार ग्लेशियल पीरियड दे सकता हूं व्रुस व्रुन फिर कल क्लास खाली हो जाएगी फाइन जिसकी जरूरत नहीं है यू विल फाइंड इट इज सो कॉम्प्लेक्स देन गेटिंग इट सो 
if you want to score because today one person was asking me and that's why i am telling this one person was asking me after the class sir i am finding it very complex because mujhe padhne mein time nahi mil raha hai matlab what you do is attending one optional ka class somewhere outside then is attending our gs ka class matlab what is the, then what you do no sir i have to read mint i have to read hindu i have to read express then i watch rajya sabha tv for 3 hours and then i listen to the radio discussion and then i cannot find the time to do insight and is baba i said cut down the sources rajya sabha tv if somebody is watching for 3 hours is it need of the exam what he watches in rajya sabha tv india nama big picture insight or jo thing or e vidyan मुझे वो प्रोग्राम भी है राज्यसभा टीवी में पता नहीं था ई विज्ञान ही गेव मी द लिस्ट ऑफ फाइव प्रोग्राम्स डेली एंड देन न्यूज रेडियो न्यूज डिफरेंट हु विल फाइंड द टाइम वी आर नॉट सुपरमैन फाइन टू डू ऑल दिस थिंग्स सो यू शुड नॉट बी डूइंग दिस देन ऑब्वियसली विल गेट कन्फ्यूज यू कट डाउन द सोर्स रीड इट अगेन एंड अगेन एंड यू सी इवन दिस ईयर्स प्रिलिम्स इज एंड एंड इवन द लास्ट ईयर्स प्रिलिम्स इज एंड और द मेन्स इज कि cut down the source do the limited source again and again you can easily clear the examination because what he is doing is he is listening to all the programs for 3 hours he will is doing that on daily basis good it is giving him thought but after 6 months as he is not able to make notes of any single thing he will not remember anything theek okay? hai you are listening to a program on daily basis but you don't have will you remember after 3 months itna zyada information overload ki aapka sar phat jayega fine right? so the same thing is happening ek paper padha nahi jata yahan pe teen paper hindu mint and express fine right? so aise nahi hoti padhai limited rakho hum sirf teen example rakhenge cretaceous volcanoes ka mein you pleistocene ice age ke liye precambrian खराबल इसके लिए बाकी नहीं गेटिंग इट और एक ही एग्जाम्पल छोटा नागपुर प्लाटू कहीं पे भी आया पॉलीसाइक्लिक रिलीफ इंडियन प्लाटू और छोटा नागपुर प्लाटू गेटिंग इट क्यों समिंद्र सिंह ने भी वही एग्जाम्पल यूज किए सारे बुक्स ने वही एग्जाम्पल यूज किए अदरवाइज बुक जीसी लियोंग जैसे बन जाती है एक मलेशिया का एग्जाम्पल एक यूके का एग्जाम्पल देन यू डोंट रीड जीसी लियोंग हैव यूर एवर ट्राइड रीडिंग जीसी लियोंग सो देर आर सो मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स कुछ नहीं याद रहता no don't do that fine during the pleistocene period nearly 75% of the earth surface was under glaciers nearly 75% of the earth surface was under glaciers and hence have the imprint or impression of glacial cycle hence have imprint or impression of glacial cycles after the pleistocene after the pleistocene majority of the glaciers retreated they went back and today they are found only in the polar regions retreated and today retreated means went back and today they are found only in the polar regions and hence the other regions the other regions have the impressions of have the impressions of present day climate have the impressions of present day climate getting this sub point 
much many older landforms many older landforms have more than one cycle of erosion because of because of change in the sea level change in the sea level and subsequent 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 river rejuvenation subsequent river rejuvenation you know what is a river do you know what is rejuvenation in english rejuvenation means dobara kya energy milna rejuvenate hona you get rejuvenated you get more energy now imagine a river it starts from the glacier it is having more energy it is coming down with great speed erosion is greater energy means erosion is more it comes into the plains uska speed decreases uska erosion capacity decreases and it comes into the still flatter land because it meets the sea uska erosion capacity further decreases fine this is our imaginary landform and this is what one cycle of erosion will be getting it and this is all the sea now for the river to increase its erosion capacity what should increase speed should increase speed increases of a river during the floods and isliye floods mein itna zyada nuksan hota hai because erosion capacity increases but floods is a very temporary phenomena which occurs every year sometimes the speed also increases due to large scale global changes which causes rise or fall in the sea level rise in the sea level may be caused due to melting of the glaciers for example 1 degree celsius increase in the temperature will increase the sea level by 10 mm zyada nahi hai if 1 degree celsius agar aaj se if the 1 degree celsius temperature increase the sea level is going to increase by 10 mm but now listen to this statistics for every 1 mm change in the sea level 700 million people are displaced so if the sea level increases by 10 mm how many people will be displaced 7000 million people means there will be no people on the earth getting it so it is a, that is why it is a serious issue it is projected that by 2100 nine by 2050 if we continue the same pollution and the same level of global warming the temperature is going to rise by 3 degree celsius already the temperature has increased by in india by 1.5 so hame aur sirf 1 degree celsius se increase karna hai the day temperature increases by 3 degree celsius what will be below the sea entire bangladesh entire kolkata chennai visakhapatnam kerala entire coastal karnataka entire mumbai and entire daman dieu gujarat ka coast in india in the world new york washington london all this will be below the sea completely below the sea so डोंट गो कि तीन डिग्री सेल्सियस से क्या होगा कल तो 45 फाइव डिग्रीज था आज फोर्टी एट डिग्रीज है मेरे को तो कुछ नहीं हुआ दिस दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ग्लोबल एवरेज टेम्परेचर रिमेंबर थ्री डिग्री सेल्सियस एवरेज मीन्स इंडिया में द टेम्परेचर इंक्रीज इज सम वॉट अराउंड ट्वेल्व टू थर्टीन डिग्री सेल्सियस इसका मतलब डूरिंग द समर्स वेन द टेम्परेचर शुड बी फोर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस इट इज फिफ्टी टू डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड ड्यूरिंग द हीट वेव्स वेन द टेम्परेचर इज फोर्टी एट डिग्री सेल्सियस इट इज
60 degree Celsius is death. No humans can survive in 60 degree Celsius. So, this is caused, so remember this is what is the global change, sea level may rise, similarly during the ice age sea level will fall. So, imagine what would have happened if the sea level has fallen. Now, this during the ice age this is where the sea level came and because during this the sea level came, what has increased? The speed of a river has increased. The speed of a river has increased therefore, uska erosion capacity has increased. Yahan pe already the erosion capacity is high. Where the erosion capacity will be high? In the flat region. And as the erosion capacity is high, this landform will be eroded more. And because this is eroded more, it will be eroded till the sea level. So, the original landform which was there, it will be destroyed and this is where the landform will be there. Now, because of this, when the speed of a river is less, what do we find? V-shaped valleys or meanders? We will find meanders. Getting it? But now the speed of a river is increased. Pehle yaha pe, when the river was flowing through this, there was meanders. Now the speed of a river has increased. So, river ka erosion has increased. River will form V-shaped valleys inside the meanders. Getting it? There was a meandering, fine. When the river was depositing, there was U-shaped valley. Ab the speed of a river has increased. Why? Due to fall in the sea level. Now because the speed of a river has increased, river ka erosion capacity has increased. And now river will cut, which was the meander here. Ek aisa U-shaped valley tha, usko river will cut and it will form a V-shaped valley inside the U-shaped valley. This we will further study much much later as entrenched or incised meanders or meanders inside meander. But this is an evidence of erosion. Second evidence of erosion is waterfalls. There will be always waterfall either in the mountains or if there is a waterfall in the plateau that means it has gone through more than one cycle of erosion. Getting it? Where do you find all these things in the polycyclic land things? Why I am telling you all these things? Because these things are very common in पांच बार पानी के नीचे पानी के ऊपर पानी के नीचे पानी के ऊपर this region has went and therefore the best evidence is anywhere in the world where you have polycyclic relief is the Chota Nagpur plateau Chota Nagpur plateau went below the water most of the vegetation got converted into coal it is the oldest rock you find iron ore it went through a middle phase you find manganese so you study in GS Tell me a single mineral which is not found in the Chota Nagpur Plateau, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Bihar, Southern Bihar. You will find everything there. Q, climate has changed, erosion of the rocks have changed and therefore variation. When a life goes below the fresh water, coal. When the life goes below the marine water, petroleum. Here it has gone below the fresh water, below the rivers. So, you find this as the region of Gondwana, coal. This as the region of raw iron ore. Why iron ore? Because already this is the oldest rock. Getting it? And you will find numerous waterfalls in the Chota Nagpur Plateau region. The sum falls we will do over the period of time. Agar zarurat padi to, you will find gold over there. You will find so many rivers over there region. In fact, this region of India is known as the land of Pat land not required or Pat matlab plateaus, chote chote plateaus or fall line of India. How do you understand this in GS? You understand this in GS in simple way ki Godavari to yaha se ja rahi hai. Krishna is going here. Chota Nakur plateau is this region. It is falling, sloping towards the east. Isliye Mahanadi, Subarna Rekha, Damodar, they flow in the eastern direction when or sown they flow in the eastern direction and they don't flow normally they flow through waterfalls 
इसलिए हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कोल भी है आयरन भी है हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी भी है देर फॉर इंडस्ट्रीज गेटिंग इट देर फॉर इंडस्ट्रीज आर फाउंड इन दिस रीजन बट ये सब जियोमोर्फोलॉजी के आंसर में नहीं लिखना है दिस जस्ट रिलेशन आई एम टेलिंग यू वाई इट इज देयर गेटिंग इट यू हैव टू जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस थिंग so river rejuvenation subsequent river rejuvenation that is increase in the erosion capacity of a river ye alag se hum topic padhenge it is in our syllabus separately increase in the erosion capacity of a river erosion capacity intensity bhi capacity bhi of a river or in other words old topography becomes young again old topography becomes young again example chhota nagpur plateau example chhota nagpur plateau which has features such as sirf naam likho abhi kuch nahi samjhega which has features such as meanders valley in valley topography this is a separate topic which will study as second cycle of erosion conclusion thus due to the dynamic nature of the earth surface is the dynamic nature of earth surface along with changes in the climate changes in the climate position of the continents position of the continents have contributed to the complexity of changes in the position of the continents have contributed to the complexity of geomorphic processes getting it वैसे तो लॉज दस है बट ऑल आर नॉट रेलिवेंट फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू फाइन सो दिस आर मोर देन इंपॉर्टेंट इसके आगे का एक लॉ है दैट मच ऑफ द अर्थ प्रेजेंट लैंड सर्फेस इज यंग एंड इट इज नॉट ओल्डर दैन द प्लिस्टोसिन कोई जरूरत नहीं उसकी फाइन उसके बाद का लॉ है टू अंडरस्टैंड जियो मॉर्फोलॉजी one has to know completely one has to appreciate the changes in the world climates uski zarurat nahi hai uske baad ka law hai 
There is one more law which says that the study of present day geomorphology has to take into account historical changes. We already take into account the historical changes. So these are the questions which are not going to come because they are not specifically mentioned in our syllabus. These are the laws which are concerned with the cycle of erosion which is mentioned in our syllabus. Getting it? And now we come to the easy topic that is the So can you tell me how is the earth? Can I say earth is divided into layers? The interior, the outermost layer is known as crust. Is the crust very thick or very thin? The crust is very thin. No need of drawing this diagram. This is for your understanding. So surrounding the crust is mantle. So upper part is crust, next part is mantle and lastly the inside ka part is known as core. The crust is further divided into continents, this is the continental crust and the oceans, the continental crust and the oceans, continental crust and the oceanic crust. Now, as you can see in the diagram, the continental crust is at a greater height as compared to the oceanic crust. Why? Because the continental crust has less density. Because it has less density, therefore it floats or it is up. The one which is more denser, it sinks. Why does it sink? Because its density is greater and because its density is greater, it was much, much there was stronger pull of gravity on the greater density and it collapsed. And then there was centuries of rainfall which resulted into the formation of you can say oceans in this. So majority of the earth is under the oceans. And on the continents we are living. Now this mantle is further divided into upper part which is not liquid but elastic or jelly like in nature and this is what is known as asthenosphere. Kya hota in the asthenosphere? The temperature is so high 6000 degree Celsius that most of the metals, most of the rocks are in a molten state but they are not completely in the liquid state. They are more like a jelly, semi-solid state and this when the earth cools pressure on the weaker rocks, they blow the weaker rocks and thus asthenosphere may say magma comes up and it causes volcanic eruption. So this asthenosphere remember is jelly. Then there is a lower part of the mantle and ultimately there is a core and in this core there are two parts that is the inner and the outer. Now what happens as we go down the temperature goes on increasing. It is increases somewhere to around 1 degree Celsius for every 32 meters. 1 degree Celsius for every 32 meters. So what is the radius of the earth? The radius of the earth is 6371 kilometers or 6400 kilometers. So 8 degrees if it is increasing for every 32 meters imagine what will be the temperature in the interior of the earth. Because of very high temperature outer core is liquid in nature. I am using the word liquid, I am using the word jelly like in nature. Fine. This outer core is made up of mostly nickel. Core is mostly made up of iron and nickel, outer core is mostly made up of nickel while the inner core is mostly made up of iron because iron is more denser, war niche chala gaya. it has settled down and because it has settled down even at high temperature it does not melt and therefore inner core is solid in nature. 
So we have solid crust, we have jelly-like asthenosphere, we have solid mantle, we have liquid outer core, we have solid inner core. So which part of the earth is liquid in nature? Only the outer core. Now why this has occurred? Because earth came out of some primordial matter, big bang theory, jo kuch bhi hai, Kant hypothesis not in our syllabus. So that is why I asked you not to read any of those chapters from the Savindri Singh. It started cooling. When it started cooling, when anything cools, what happens is the denser the material, it will settle down. Lighter material will start floating upwards. Kuch bhi cool karke dekho aap. Chai anda cool karke dekho, ya chai cool karke dekho, ya kuch bhi. The denser part particles are going to go and settle down. If you take unfiltered tea, jo tea leaves hai, wo ja ke niche settle ho jayenge. If you have coffee, filter coffee, the filter coffee ka sediments will go and settle down at the bottom of a cup if it starts cooling down. Getting it? So similarly, which was the most denser? Iron and nickel was most denser. It went and settled down at the bottom forming the core. Then the lighter material, magnesium, iron, some part of the mixture of iron, magnesium and iron went and settled and it formed the mantle. Ande mein white part, ande mein yellow part. And the lightest material which is made up of aluminium and silica, which is that is mostly it formed the crust. But crust may be, there were two parts. One of the crust had dominance of aluminium along with silica, we will call this as a Cl layer. One of the part of the crust had dominance of magnesium along with sil sila, uh, silica, we will call this as a Cima layer. S magnesium is more denser than aluminium, so magnesium niche ja ke settle ho gaya, ban gaya oceanic crust and aluminium became continental crust. So if somebody asks you, Mount Everest is more denser, yeah, Indian Ocean ka crust is more denser, Indian Ocean ka crust. So the Britishers when they came to India, especially Sir George Everest, jinke upar naam is there Mount Everest, when he came to India, he was the first chief of geological survey of India, remember this. He saw Mount Everest and he was impressed ki itna proper mountain, itna dense mountain, itna strong mountain Himalayas. He thought that there will be extreme gravitational pull of the Himalayas on the people of India. Then he started measuring the gravitational pull on the people of India and Joe's theoretical calculation kiya tha ki this is the rocks, this is what is there, the gravitational pull of Himalayas should be stronger. In reality, the results were not seen. If he thought XYZ should be gravitational pull of the Himalayas on India, in reality it was very very less. And then they came to a conclusion that Sial is lighter than Sima. And therefore, this is nothing but the theory of isostasy. But how do we understand this is the structure of the interior of the earth. We will understand the structure of the interior of the earth through two concepts. One of the concept is of Sir Edward Suez. divided the earth into three basic layers, Sial, Sima and Knife or Nife layer. What is Sial? So he took the earth and he said the uppermost layer is made up of Sial and it consists of the mountains etc. and it consists of the continents. The Sial is floating on the Sima. So this is what is the Sial layer. And it is floating on the Sima. And this is what is the Sima layer. And uske niche was the next layer that is the why Cl? Because most of the mineral that was present was silica and aluminium. Why Sima? Silica and magnesium. Why knife? Nickel and iron. These are the three layers of the interior of the earth and you draw this diagram.
question will be direct. Write a short note on the interior of the earth or write a short note on the physical conditions of the interior of the earth. Fine. Yahan se indirect question nahi aayega. See, इतने क्लास में अभी तक हमने कोई इंडियन जोग्राफर नहीं किया है बिकॉज जोग्राफी हैज नॉट डेवलप्ड इन इंडिया एज सच हाउ कैन जोग्राफी डेवलप इन इंडिया वेन इंद्र इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर रेनफॉल वेन वायु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर विंड ऑल आर गॉड्स but this is not the case it has not developed in india because sanskrit text ko kabhi translate hone nahi diya to maintain a dominance of certain caste so ultimately arabs took those and translated them and gave the theory of monsoon german took those and gave the entire theory of physical geography everything was written in indian geography the calculation of the equator and the radius of the earth which was done by indians are exactly what is done by the computers today not galileo not aristotle but unka naam famous ho gaya hamara history mein ye ho gaya getting it can i continue which so सी आर लेयर सी आर लेयर इट इज डॉमिनेटेड बाय सिलिका एंड एल्यूमिनियम silica and aluminum having an average density of 2.7 grams per centimeter cube having an average density of 2.7 grams per centimeter cube 2.7 grams per centimeter cube thickness even in the exam you can write this answer only in points isme kuch ye nahi thickness is between 30 to 50 km over continents and between 0 to 5 km over oceans so kahan pe thick hai sial over the continents or oceans over the continents what is present below the sial seema what is present in the seema matlab mantle asthenosphere that is the fire so that fire or mantle or asthenosphere can easily break sial or seema seema why because it is either 0 or 5 so volcanoes will be more in below the oceans or on the continents below the oceans getting it why because it is very very thin volcanoes are absent in himalayas kyunki highest mountain in the world matlab sial yahan pe is very very thick world mein the continental crust is 30 kilometers below the himalayas it is 70 kilometers it is so thick so obviously volcanoes cannot escape that fire inside the earth cannot escape isliye hum padhte hai volcanoes are absent in himalayas they are mostly present jahan pe sea hai so andaman and nicobar have volcanoes hawaii have volcanoes mid atlantic ridge has volcanoes krakatoa is below the sea have volcanoes getting it A 
continental crust is made up of Cl. and it is dominated by granitic rocks. The granitic rocks. It is dominated by the granitic rocks. See rocks, weathering, etcetera ye apne syllabus mein nahi hai ye sab gs mein hai so rocks picks ka handouts i will give you so, agar time mila agar reference ke liye padhna hai then study otherwise no need of studying fine you can just depend upon the class notes what are there sir when you say the upper part of the asthenosphere is included. But this was not given by Suez, that was given by plate tectonics. So, we will write there in the plate tectonics. Here we are writing the idea of Suez only. Sima. made of denser material having an average density of 3 grams not 30 ok, 3 grams per centimeter cube. Three grams per centimeter cube. Why? Because it has dominance of heavy minerals such as iron and magnesium. So, because of magnesium, what are we calling it? Sema, silica and magnesium. It forms oceanic crust. And obviously mantle also forms oceanic crust and has dominance of basaltic rocks. So, there are two rocks granite and basalt. Granitic the rocks which are similar to granite, basaltic the rocks which are similar to basalt. Fine. Granite, have you seen granite? Color? Light, yeah, black. Granite ka color? Whitish hota hai, blackish hota hai? Blackish kaha pe dekha hai granite? Huh? Where? Where have you seen granite which is blackish in color? Granite will be always grayish in color, uske upar se black colors ke crystals rahenge. It will be grayish in color. Go today and see the metro station ka platform. They all are made up of granite. They are already always white in color. Uske upar crystals rahenge, that is different. But they will be whitish in color. Q Because they are dominated by silica. Have you seen basalt? Anyone? You have seen your kitchen ka platform? Purane ghar mein, what is the color? That is basalt. Getting it? Which color? Black. Because it has more iron. If there is more silica, aluminium, that is white, always white in color. If it has more iron, it is always black in color. So, black granite jo aajkal market hota hai, black shiny granite, it is nothing, it is just a basalt, jisko dusra naam diya hai. Because what sells in the market is granite, granite flooring. Ab, instead of that companies agar bolte basalt ki flooring lo, sell nahi hota. So, they sell you black granite, nothing else, but it is a basalt only. 
that is why someone said okay why say it is not black granite also basalt also basalt ke upar plastic ki flame laga ke shine karate hain melamine knife is the most densest layer which forms core it is the most dense layer which forms core having an average density of 11 grams per centimeter cube kuch books mein diya hoga 12 kuch books mein 11 ncert says 11 don't worry ek aur do kabhi 11 hai kabhi 12 hai so 11 grams per centimeter cube why because it has dominance of nickel and iron nickel and iron is it accessible to us no we can never see this knife hum asthenosphere bhi nahi dekh sakte hum mantle bhi nahi dekh sakte knife layer starts from 5000 km 2900 km below the surface of the earth human beings have succeeded only going up to the depth of 4 km below the surface of the earth 12 km below the oceans 4 km below the continents kya hai radius of the earth 6000 km you have succeeded going up only up to 4 km that is why geomorphology is tough because we don't know what is below below the baki sab ye theories hai maybe these theories are wrong maybe these theories are right fine 